this, this touches on s several questions. As you had touched today on several themes of vocation, and you had talked about the sense of, you know, where, where we're involved with young adults, we tend to have an increase in vocations. I, I'm assuming you're in favor of more vocations to the Society yes, of Jesus. Yes, certainly, certainly, <laughs> by far. <laughs> Uh, speaking from your perspective, what, what would be the characteristics you would look for in someone that was interested in the Society of Jesus? We are looking for the right motivation. We don't want uh, that uh, secondary motivations come on the way, no? Like, uh, I want to make a career, the Jesuits give me an education, so I uh, join the Jesuits. Right. The, or uh, join the Jesuits and see the world, no? kind of thing. And second, which is similar to what St. Ignatius calls people of desires, I would say people with the ability to grow and to be changed. Yeah? So people that are not so firm and so scared of, of images, of convictions, of identity, that they are not able to change. That would scare me. Yeah? Okay. And together with that, of course, I agree with Arupe when he said that a person without sense of humor probably has no vocation to the society. No? The, the third or fourth prerequisite I would require is people who are not afraid of failure. I think we Jesuits are, have one weakness. We like to succeed. People experience a lot of failure no? in marriage, in education of the children, in friendship, in work. This is very common. No? So that we are afraid of failure makes us very weak in communicating the gospel. The problem is that sometimes we confuse success with gospel success, and that's different.